another day. For the 40th film featuring the ineffable James Bond, no less than seven wickedly expensive Aston Martin Vanquish models were radically modified, three of them using the four-wheel drive technology of the Ford Explorer. A thought to curdle the blood of the typical Vanquish clientele. The sports car is entirely built by hand, has 460 horsepower, and can exceed 300 kilometers an hour. Just the ticket for Mr. Bond. That this muscle car weighs not less than 1,900 kilos is a shock. It is, after all, almost entirely made of aluminium. The very rigid chassis, the drivetrain, the motor, All in all, the Aston Martin counts as one of the most beautiful sports cars ever built. The paintwork gleams around the wide grille. The hot air dances in the air above the mesh of the radiator. The Vanquish expresses power and refinement. At the front, 255 tires are mounted. At the rear, they are 285s. Starting with the door panels, the majestic back end grows to its width of over 1 meter 90. An aerodynamically effective spoiler lip is the eye catcher when the car is seen from behind. No British reserve here. Behind the understated steering wheel is the paddle controlling the six-speed gearbox. But one is inclined to frown at the sight of cheap-looking knobs, buttons and toggles which look as if they came from the Ford spare parts store, a marked contrast to the otherwise high-tech look. The center console also sports components which we know from Ford and Jaguar models. The power plant is a 5.9-liter 12-cylinder motor with 48 valves, built completely by hand, naturally. The sound sends shivers up your spine. <laughs> Let's put it to the test. 5.4 for the sprint to 100, 4 tenths slower than the manufacturer's claim. Gear changes function as they should. Each gear engages cleanly but not abruptly. 200 is reached after 15.6 seconds, the long gear ratio ruling out a better result. The steering is very direct, giving the driver confidence in the 36-meter slalom. The suspension can be relied on entirely, even when at the performance limit. But with 121 kilometers an hour, the Aston failed to score top marks here. Evasive driving on the Autobahn. A double lane change goes very well in spite of the weight of the car. At 140, the Vanquish remains extremely agile. In wind tunnel testing, the Aston excels. Not only the spoiler lip, but also the Venturi channel of the enclosed underbody do their job well. At the front, the Vanquish aerodynamics give 18 kilos of downforce. At the back, at 200 kilometers an hour, the lift is reduced to a low 29 kilos. The final test for the elegant sports car, the Hockenheim ring. Into Armisen corner, the brakes are working at their limit. Pulling out of the turn, the traction is truly impressive. On the brakes again, the pedal pressure becomes weaker, but the silky smooth V12 is a delight with spontaneous acceleration and massive torque. But it has to be said that anyone wanting to take the Vanquish out on race circuits would be well advised to install racing brake pads. The quest for the maximum speed will depend on that. The recorded lap time of 1 minute 17.2 seconds is a tribute to the finely balanced interplay of the various components. But it also shows that the qualities of the Aston Martin Vanquish are best appreciated on the road rather than the track. <laughs>